Hi, I'm Braden with Furuno. We're out here in the Florida Keys with Captain Rush Maltz, and we're going to do a quick tip today on how to use marker zoom on your TZ Touch 3 MFD. So Rush, we're out here, about 215 feet of water. We're over a small wreck. Um, you know, there's different ways to do zoom. There's, you know, bottom zoom, bottom lock. But now we also have a quick way to do marker zoom, which what that's gonna do is it's gonna give us a box on the screen and that's gonna allow us to zoom in on anything that that box is covering. So it's pretty simple to get to. All we have to do is go to the bottom edge swipe, swipe up, and we just touch on marker zoom. Simple to do. What's gonna happen is this yellow box is then gonna pop up. And this box, I can drag it down to what I wanna be zoomed in on I can also pinch the zoom to make that box a little bit bigger so I can pick what area of the bottom I am zoomed in on. And what that's gonna do is we're gonna have the ability now to see that full water column, but also we're gonna be able to see that zoomed in section as well. So, you know, I know you do a lot of bottom fishing, you know, being able to see some detail on the bottom, you know, what do you, what do you think about marker zoom? You know, tell us a little bit about how you use it. I use marker zoom a lot, especially this time of year. Uh, we're fishing for a lot of tunas, and a lot of spots where we catch our tunas, we also catch a lot of good bottom fish. Mutton okay. snappers, groupers, amberjack, African pompano, all those good bottom fish. And what I want to do is I want to set up on a spot, yep. ideally, where I could fish the bottom, get some action on the bottom, while I'm waiting for these tunas to come up. A lot of times we got a big load of bait back there, or up in the front well and we're live chumming okay. the surface for the tunas. Yep. But in the meantime, we're dropping some baits down to the bottom and targeting some bottom fish. So I wanna know that there's fish on the bottom as well as in the upper water columns. Uh, that's nice, yeah, because you can see what's going on in the top of that water column for those tuna. But now, as you can see, as we drift over the wreck, we're getting this nice detail. You know, we're seeing the wreck, we're seeing the fish holding down here on the bottom as well. So you're kind of getting the best of both worlds for that scenario. And yeah. another place marker zoom works re really well is when I'm out in California and we're targeting some of those big bluefin tuna. Oh yeah. Well, those fish, we don't care what's going on below 300 feet. We don't get, those fish aren't ready to feed until they come up above 300 feet. Now, once those fish start coming up into that 150 foot to 75 foot, we know we're gonna get bit. Nice, nice. And then you can be zoomed in on that section of the water column. Just looking there, looking yeah. for our marks. Yeah. I know a lot of um, a lot of other captains, you know, when they're doing some pelagic trolling, they're going to use marker zoom to be zoomed in on the thermocline as well. I mean, they want to see, you know, if those marlin are above or below the thermocline and track them there. So there's definitely a big variety of ways that you can use marker zoom. And it was very simple. All we had to do was an edge swipe up and turn on marker zoom. And when we're done bottom fishing or we're done using it, we just can go back to single frequency or we could go to dual frequency, however we want to run it, just with a simple bottom edge swipe. Well, that's another quick tip on how to use marker zoom on your TZ Touch 3 MFD. For more information, go to furuno.com or check out our YouTube channel.